Hello, mathematicians. Now, with Halloween coming up, I have one thing on my mind, and I'm sure you do too, candy. Now, I want you to think of your favorite candy, whether if it's Hershey's or Skittles or Laffy Taffy. What is your favorite candy? Now, I have a question for you. Would you rather have five pieces of that candy, or would you rather have one piece of that candy? Hmm. Well, I know for me, if it was Skittles, I would much rather have five pieces of Skittles than one piece. And I'm sure you chose the same, but why? Why did we choose five than one? I know I was thinking, well, I want more, and I know that five is greater than one. And I'm sure you did too. So it made me think, well, how do we know that five is greater than one? Today, we're gonna be looking at comparing numbers. Now, we're in second grade, which means that we're looking at two and three digit numbers. So things can get really tricky really fast. Luckily, we have three steps to make it a whole lot easier to compare some numbers. So let's take a look at my anchor chart here. Now, when we compare numbers, there's some things we really need to be on the lookout for. So let's go ahead and begin. I wanna compare the numbers 76 and 29. Step number one is look at the place with the highest value. Now what that means is we want to look at the place. So our hundreds, tens, and ones. The highest value means the biggest one. So which one's bigger? A one, a stick of 10, or a block of 100? Now, if you said hundreds, give yourself a pat on the back. You're always going to start with the place with the highest value. And for us, it's going to be the hundreds. So let's take a look and see at 76 and 29. Well, I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. One thing that'll really help you when you're comparing numbers is if you label both numbers with their hundreds, tens, and ones, okay? So I went ahead and did that to help me out. So let's see, my hundreds, hmm. Well, friends, I, um, I don't see any number there, which means that if there's no number, the symbol for None in numbers is zero. So if they're both zeros, how can I compare it? It's the same number. Well, then we go on to step number two. If the place has the same number, go to the next highest value and compare. Well, they're both invisible zeros, so let's move on to the next highest value. Which would it be, my tens or my ones? If you said tens, awesome job. Pat your brain for being so, so smart. We're gonna hop over to our tens place. Ooh, now seven and two are definitely not the same number. So now we can compare. Which is bigger, seven or two? I'm sure you're thinking the same thing I am. Seven is quite a bit bigger than two, which means that 76 must be a higher value number than 29. Now we're in second grade, so we can't say that 20, take two. We can't say that 76 is bigger than 29, we have to use our place value vocabulary. 76 is greater than 29. Now we have some special symbols we use. Remember, it kind of looks like an alligator and alligators will always open their mouth to the bigger number. So I'm gonna use this symbol as my greater than. Now friends, like I said, we're in second grade and we have to prove that we know that 76 is quite a bit bigger than 29. And all of the strategies we just used helps tell us which one's which. So then we move on to step number three. It's time to explain. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is take your first number. For us, it was 76. So 76 is, hmm, was it greater than, less than, or equal to? It was greater than. So 76 is greater than 29 because. So after using these steps, how did we know that 76 is greater than 29? What place value did we look at? We looked at the tens. So if I'm gonna explain this to my friend or maybe mom or dad or brother and sister, I'm going to say that 76 is greater than 29 because there is a seven in the tens place in 26 and a two in the tens place in 29. And just like that, I have proven why 76 is greater than 29. So, Mathematicians, today in Seesaw, you're gonna be comparing some two digit numbers. When you do it, make sure you use that greater than or less than or equal to symbol to show which one. And in the slide after that, you're gonna to have to explain just like we did why one number is greater than another. 
make sure you use that place value language. I'm looking for hundreds, tens, ones, greater than, less than, and equal to. Okay, mathematicians, until next time. Bye.